All right. We uh, we went and saw the mayor about uh, about finishing off the uh, the red brands at the manor, along with bringing our fucking prisoner to him. Thank God we didn't get arrested. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Even if they, we probably could have taken them. Uh, probably could, have, you know. We, we would I mean, be I would have, I would have felt bad, but we probably could have, you know. We would be outlaws. Yeah, true. Uh, he says he knows about the black spider, but it doesn't uh, remember who it was. Oh. We then we went and uh, went to Mr. Charson to deliver the letters that we got from Yarna's office. Got, we, we got payment from both ends. Completely ads. rich. We could retire just now if we wanted. <laughs> yeah, we really could. <laughs> we've got enough money to just like live out our lives here in Fandolin. Yeah, we are also bought uh, stuff for our house. Some chairs and yeah, we got we got furniture and shit. Uh, I believe Liss almost poisoned himself with alcohol. Yeah, so that's true. He drank like eight servings out of one bottle. There's five constitution saves on the chair. I don't remember. I think we heard it from Miss Thornton, but we heard about some undead showing out around the uh, the owl well. It was a random elf that came looking for me at Paladin. Oh right, yeah, the 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 elf, your your fucking um, Darren. Robin, Robin Hood organization. <laughs> no, the elf is just an old man, Darren Edermers. Uh, we got our uh, our goblin friend whose name I wrote down somewhere. Zippy. Yeah, that was it. And uh, he he is taking us off in where he believes a red brand hideout to be, but we decided we'd take care of the orcs at Wyvern Tor and the undead first. Yep. And I believe that's where we ended. Uh, that would be correct. Nice. Get... Never fail on that recap. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we just basically did a whole mess of resolutions to quest lines it, we've been working on. It was it was the beach episode, you know? We will eventually <laughs> get a beach episode. <laughs> well now it's time to, to fight shit. We will have to head back towards Netherwinter at some point in time to get to Thunder Tree. That is true, yeah. We do have to do that at some point. Get our get our payment for the fucking job we did for them. It wasn't even really a job; it was just saving prisoners. Yeah. They are going to end this completely full of gold. We've got, we've got, we've got a lot of shit. We're going to get in the town. Oh, look a caravan! No, no, this is our gold. You, you you misunderstand. This is in fact a wagon full of our shit. <laughs> nothing, no, nothing more, nothing less. I'm sorry to uh, to break your perception of us. It's... Someone take a pick and get blinded by the amount of gold. At some point, we may have more gold than the entire miners' exchange. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> yeah, well, I can dream, can't I? A man can dream. The music going in though. Okay. So as we're spending the two days necessary to travel to Coneyberry, how are you guys spending your time? I did finish carving my statue. Yeah, you did spend some time working on that statue. Uh, as far as unresolved plot strings go, 
I'm going to spend my time searching for any type of animal puppies <laughs> to train. <laughs> As we're just driving along. But, um, no, if it's a pet you want, hear me out, hear me out. If you find a rather large squirrel, you can train those things to fight, let me tell you. They're scary. I mean, a, 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 a normal wolf cub would be completely fine, or a baby well, owl. Well, if you manage to find a wolf cub all the way out here, good for fucking you. But I'm telling you, I'm being realistic with my expectations. And rather large squirrel is realistic. Okay, you know what? A large squirrel is not a bad idea. I know. They can, I've seen, I've seen like regular sized squirrels maul children from my, uh, from my hometown of Squirrelstead. That's not reassuring. That's frightening. Well, they, didn't, they didn't die. They just got kind of messed up for a while. Okay, thank God. But yeah, as Last far time. as unresolved plot strings go, Spoon still has two books that he repurposed from Yarno's study, and Liss has yet to attune to his new staff. Mm. Yeah, I also need to attune my staff. Which Steph. basically just takes eight hours of constantly focusing on it. Well, hey, so you've got a, you've got got a lot of free time. <laughs> I mean, we got two days of just traveling. Yeah, you got. You really is is eight out of your forty eight hours going to change all that much? Not really. Yeah, these two these two books. Uh, what, what, what's, what's going on with them? What, what are they looking like? Uh, the what's one that you did actually met, look at while we were there was the one that was about basic alchemy. Right. And the other one you never properly investigated. Yeah, I may as well, may as well read up on my, uh, my definite really high reading skill. See what's going on there. Let me add that to Melissa's inventory. So that he can now see what his new staff does. Nice. And I do have to add a modifier to your character sheet. I'll roll 20. The, uh, the game, the, the site with math rocks that uh, makes us do more math. Let's go. I mean, D&D is just math, basically. I, that's what I'm saying, is that they took our game of math and added more math to it. But you also have to have a minor in fucking coding. Where is the AC modifier option? I'm going to start to learn coding probably this month or the next one. Nice. I took one coding class in like seventh grade, and I was like, "Yep, I fucking hate this." <laughs> I made a small boot camp for a month, no, two months, I think, and learned only the basics. Now I'm going to learn the plus plus. That's cool, man. Just hope I get some proper slip. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I want to know more before I enter college. I, probably there will be a lot of nerds. Oh my God! You don't don't even know how to make a how to hack NASA? How, what am I, what oh, are you what, doing? What is that, man? Come on! Come on! That's, that's some like that's some like beginner level shit, bro. Come on! Monk, how can you be so naive? <laughs> I'm still, I'm still a good link. Uh, my friend, oh, when you oh, enter the same college, you're going to go. <laughs> he said everybody knew everything except him. I won't pass the same shame. I do think, I do think it's kind of silly that you have to have uh, the premium fucking subscription on Roll Twenty to uh, 
edit the main sheet, like the line of sheets they have without coding your own. I think that's kind of silly. They have to gain money somehow. Yeah. Metroidvania that came out recently that people are talking about called Ender Lilies and it looks really cool. Ender Willies. Yeah. Alright, so Liss's staff has been now revealed to him as being a staff of defense. While holding yeah. the staff, he gains a plus one bonus to his armor class passively. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And the staff has Wait, 10 charges. The staff has a total of 10 charges, which are used to fuel the spells within it. While the staff's in his hand, he can use an action to cast one of the following spells from the staff. If the spell is under your spells class is spell list. Uh, for one charge, he can cast Mage Armor, which is kind of useless to him. <laughs> but he does get Shield, right? That's the other one. Uh, Couldn't I cast no, Mage Armor with shield someone using else? His actual spell slots, mm. but uh, Mage Armor would give him AC 13 plus Dex, which would be less than his actual AC. Oh yeah, he can't cast Shield for two charges. I cannot read. Well, and, you told us about it uh, when he first got it, so yeah. And remember no what you told me. No comments are required for the casting of these spells. And it regains 1d6 plus 4 expended charges each day at dawn. And if he expends the staff's last charge, he rolls a d20, and on a 1, the staff shatters and it is destroyed. Eesh. And as an additional bonus, as you were studying and focusing your magical energy into this rather wizardly looking staff, its shape molds and forms to become more of a Old school priests or papal style staff. Nice. Uh -huh. Fucking magic. All this, all this vague and cryptic things happening, almost as if it's following some sort of story. <laughs> uh. Ma magic is a tool, like any other. Yeah, but. Like it's so much more, it's so much weirder than every other tool anyone works with. Okay, I can agree with. I once saw a a performer. You're telling me you can put words onto a wall, and if somebody walks by it, they just die. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, that's, that's dumb. I, I can't be the only person that thinks that's dumb, right? <laughs> I mean, there was still weirder magic on the past. Like, I know there was one to create volcanoes and another to levitate mountains. And yeah, people used cool. both at the same time. Yeah, Imagine cool. a gigantic volcano on top of your city. Yeah, no thanks. Squirrel Stead has enough problems as it is. We don't need volcanoes. You have big squirrels. Yeah, we have, we have five-foot squirrels. Those are... Those are a big enough problem as it stands. You throw fucking lava on top of that, nobody stands a chance. <laughs> but them, them books though, what's, what's going on there? Uh, oh, and you're studying the one other than the, uh... Yeah, the, the one I didn't read. Alright, so it's a seemingly leather-bound book. What kind of creature its leather comes from, you're not entirely sure. But it's bound with a single leather strap with a pretty hefty buckle in the middle. It's not as good as squirrel leather.
all my pouches are made of, you see. <laughs> We're aware. What, what, what did you say? Your, your mic kind of cut out a bit. We're aware. <laughs> it, happened. it happened again. I couldn't quite hear you that time. Apparently, every time I go high-pitched, it does that. We're yeah. aware. <laughs> uh, I was just talking out loud. You didn't need to acknowledge me. It's funnier if I do, though. Fair enough. So after investigating it, are you doing anything else? I mean, I mean, I would read it, see what if I can gain any actual knowledge from it. All right. So you undo the buckle and pull back the leather strap, and you open the book and flip through a few pages, all of which appear to be completely blank to you. But as you continue to flip through pages, you start to get a searing migraine emanating from the back of your eyeballs. Ugh. Oh, this magic bullshit. Ugh. How am I supposed to fight under these conditions? Now my brain hurts. And there's not even any words on these pages. I mean, the book's probably magical. Aren't you receiving knowledge just by looking at it? I, if that were the case, I feel like I would have learned something. But now my head just hurts. Do you want to investigate further? Yes. Okay, give me an investigation check. I'm, I'm, I'm already committed. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the worst that could happen? I don't know. You get your brain Sick. consumed. Nah, it'll be fine. So yeah, you focus even further on this book, scrolling through the pages, trying to find even the most minute amount of trace of any information. The feeling in your brain gets, or the feeling in the back of your eyes gets even more and more painful as you take one point psychic damage with a low ass roll. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's enough of reading. I, I didn't read anything. There's no words. This sucks. Let's have the uh, Krell make a check. You... Well, since it hurts, it read. probably means that you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh boy, we're not we're not doing the best. So yeah, Krell begins to run her hands over the pages, trying to get any inkling of anything that might be going on. And she herself takes three points of psychic damage. Oh wow. Do you want to take a swing at it, Liz? Maybe you can gleam something out of it. Okay, let me try. Yeah. A ten! Let's go! Yeah, just like... Uh, Spoon, you start flipping through the pages, not being able to perceive anything on any of them, and just as him, you start to get a migraine in the back of your eyes, dealing two points psychic damage. Let's go, I took the least amount of damage. Oh, what's wrong with this book? I don't know. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get somebody in town to look at it when we get back. Maybe I'll just try again later. Maybe my brain's just not all there right now. Yeah, put this in a bag. Oh my head. You know what? Carl's gonna give it one more shot. And then there you go. Significantly better. Significantly better. <laughs> like, how did we all roll sub ten? <laughs> I don't know. The dice squads are not happy with us today. At least reading the low rolls out before we get into combat. <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah, Krell once again... Krell had picked up from where Spoon left off in the book. So instead, she flips back to the start of the book. Mm, of and course. That was the problem. Suddenly, <laughs> you see a 
puzzled look in her eyes, not quite sure what's going on. Oh, did you, did you gleam something? I thought you said this book was empty. It, it is. I'm looking at it with my own eyes right now. There are no words on that page. <laughs> are you sure? She turns and points the book straight at you. <laughs> is there anything on it? You see no words still. Yeah, there's not a damn thing on there. Maybe it's just something that you magic folk have that I don't. But Wiss wasn't able to see anything. Wait. Oh, well, that's true. Wait. Why am I able to see anything? Hey, you can't see! What the fuck? This is stupid! But I could... I could read the words just as easily as they're spoken. Well, what do they say? This isn't quite in a language I understand, but... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sure I could figure it out later. Yeah, we... You also yeah, notice just... that she doesn't reel taking damage like before. That's, that's strange. Everything about what just happened is strange. Can you speak some of the words? I speak far different languages. Maybe it's one of them? Uh, I don't think she can accurately interpret a language she doesn't understand to you. Just uh... see if it sounds... <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like she's seeing the writing of a language she doesn't oh. understand. So it's using characters you, that are foreign to her. If you had to take a guess, what language do you think it's in? I have no idea. I've never well, seen written language before. Oh, true, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's, that's, a, that's a concept I completely forgot about. Well, hopefully it's just selfish or something. Yeah. Not some, like, but, uh, random fucking, like, god language or something. That'd be dumb. That would be Celestial. Sure. If that's what they're calling it. I think if Krell waits a day, she can actually pick up comprehend languages. <laughs> you know, you would think with how much I, like, talk shit about, uh, like, the gods, they would have, like, done something. They're not maybe so greedy. Maybe I'm just lucky. Nah, they don't. So I, I guess it's less like, you know, blaspheming and more like, uh, smack talk. I don't know. Yep, to commit blasphemy, you would have to do something terrible, like burning a church or something. Mm. Yeah, I can't say I've ever done that. Crow will have to wait a day, but she will pick up Comprehend Languages. Hmm. I see. We'll, we'll figure out what's in this fucking book if it kills us. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will. Uh, I don't see sleep being immediately useful. Let's get rid of that. It is partially... Partially killed us already. So, no. Yeah, we're just going to fight undead and orcs. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, yeah, what, 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 what could possibly go wrong besides like, getting our fucking, like, heads clearly, like, fucking hit so hard they fall into our, like, necks? You know, that's, that's, that's the worst thing I can think of. Some real, like, cartoonish shit. The worst thing is that can happen is the the orcs are actually civilized and we meet Madame Guillotine. <laughs> nah, man. Orcs orcs are like always not civilized creatures in every media. Warhammer orcs make, make shit happen because they think it will happen. They think wearing purple makes them invisible, so the the, the warp makes them invisible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. And like all of their technology is like caveman technology, but it somehow outperforms some of the empire's technology. I mean, they are really strong. Yeah, they are. 
the red ones, the red oryx think that being red makes them stronger, so it does! They become stronger by fighting! They literally have underground rings meant to- dedicated to making themselves stronger by fighting. <laughs> and I don't mean it in the sense that, like, they get better at fight- No, they just- it just, like, the warp makes them stronger because they become good at fighting. It's- I fuck I love it, it's so fucking goofy. Should they change the Arno staff to Papal staff or something? Uh, you could change it to its actual name, Staff of Defense. <laughs> yeah, good idea. This is, this is the, this is that big funny weapon we fucking stole from that guy that we killed like really fast. Yep, and now it's mine. Magic. Magic. Magic he was he dead, actually right? actually used the scroll with fireball he had hidden. Oh yeah, that would that would that would have been a fucking problem. <laughs> that that certainly would not have ended well for anybody involved. Yeah, if he had used either of the scrolls that he had with him, it could have turned the fight in his favor easily. Like, yeah. <laughs> we were, but we were on X Games. He just wasn't. He wasn't ready for the smackdown. It went all. Oh, you don't know the true power. Got completely wrecked. Well, yeah. You don't know the power of the. Shut up! <laughs> but then I stabbed him. Well, in all fairness, I... Krell stabbed him first. That is true. Yeah, <laughs> Krell did get. Krell did stab him first. I will not deny that. What's the name of her dagger again? Uh, Rend. Rend. Yeah. Sounds about right. I've decided to change its uh, general appearance too. Instead of being oh, yeah? like your standard dagger, it's almost like a sharpened piece of metal with like. Uh, some fabric wrapped around one end of it, much like a prison shiv. Hell yeah. It's a shiv. <laughs> somehow, somehow that thing is fucking... It's not, uh, it's not broken, and it's somehow like the best thrown weapon ever. <laughs> and Krell will have spent 16 hours each day instead of the standard 8 to, to use 100 of her gold pieces and the fact that she's a level 3 full caster to make Rend a plus 1 dagger. Woo! That's just a, a thing you can do? Yep. If you're level 3, you can make a weapon plus 1 by spending 100 gold and 4 or days spending 8 hours each focusing on Gee. that weapon. But she cut that time in half by spending 16 hours in 2 days. Oh, nice. Yeah, you but, gotta like you gotta like make rend into a fucking like homebrewed magic item for your Eventually <laughs> no... it probably will be. Or I'll just make <laughs> it into an already existing magic weapon. True. We just have to find uh, an artificer. Oh wait, that artificer is UA. Shit. <laughs> you didn't change my AC before, right? Oh yeah, because we had that issue where it was being one short and I couldn't figure out why. And it must have recalculated after I added the plus one for staff and defense. Eesh. That's kind of annoying and terrible. Let's see, you got chainmail, which makes it base 16. Shield, which adds two. Staff and defense, which adds one, so it's 19. My feet of defense that adds plus one. Ah. Oh, it's not typed in. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Oh. You know what I'm just gonna add it as an item and save myself. I have a lot of headache. Hmm. I meant to hit. 
hit. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. It's beautiful oh. to see 20 AC. <laughs> Uh, yeah, after we've got the squishy, the not squishy, and the kind of squishy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And for some reason, our squishiest is our DPS. <laughs> she is. She do be. She, she do be doing that damage though. Yeah. She'd be a glass cannon. Yeah, we spend our okay. two days of various forms of study and magical focusing and finally make our way to Coneyberry and begin and we disembark our traveling cart and our oxen friend and sign an accompanying map for this. While we're gone, Maurice, do those exercises I told you about. All right. All right. Good. Uh, I don't have any type of. I have the spell speaking with animal. <laughs> oh Jesus! I don't think it will make any difference. <laughs> I, I don't mean. Know. I could. You never really know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I don't want to spend a, sp a spell slot. <laughs> to listen to Maurice tell me to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just going to leave Maurice. Bro, bro I don't even have legs. Well, that's not weird. That's yeah. not correct at all. He's old, you know, he's probably got, like, cow dementia or something. <laughs> I use the spell, all we can hear is the... Uh, you guys got any grass? Why is Maurice suddenly a hippie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I guess if that's the way you wanted to interpret it, yeah. I mean, that's the voice she gave him. Fair Would enough. Would hippies be druids? A hippie can be anybody, if you really want it to be. Druids just are the best, uh... Best like, hippie. Ba baseline hippies. There's I love that there's a druid that literally sets random fires on the forest because it helps <laughs> to grow. It's not that they protect the forest, it's that they are it the forest. The balance. And sometimes forests catch on fire. <laughs> and sometimes wizards are assholes. For the reality of it. Don't mind me, I'm doodling the next map. No, I... Because, <laughs> <I did. laughs> again, had no I prep time pre-session. Yeah, the same, I, the same thing goes on in uh, both my Warhammer. I just put those Warhammer all on the wrong darkness. fucking layer. Let's go! Or well, assumedly my World of Darkness game because it hasn't started yet. But considering the the guy who's running it, I imagine it's going to be relatively the same way. All right. I love how my character has now the basically a papal staff. Plus, I have vestments. True. A holy symbol and a prayer book. I can just pretend to be a priest. Yeah, you could. And I mean, hey, pass those deception checks and you'll be fine. 
I also become an ultra break in like five seconds. All right. Now I just gotta find that freaking shark. I wonder what's going to be the biggest problem, the orcs or the undead? I don't know, orcs like... The, uh, every, I had like one encounter with orcs in Warhammer and they, uh, since then I just like, I don't trust orcs in any media. They, they, <laughs> they scare me. <laughs> We've, we've figured we could get smarter if we read more, but we can't read all that fast. So we figured since red makes you go faster, we just start writing in red, and then we got all smarts and stuff. But then the boss called us, we couldn't, we couldn't read anymore, because Crump, because, uh, Krog crumped himself. Now we just got back to fighting. Orcs are fucking dumb. They're fucking scary, man. Warhammer is a series of games, right? Warhammer, yeah, Warhammer is like, uh... It started off as like a game where you fight actual wars with like miniatures on a table. And then it just delved into a bunch of other shit. I know it mostly as a, uh... TT RPG series. But the only system I'm really familiar with is, um... Uh... What is it? God damn it. Uh... Wrath and Glory. That's it. That's the only system I've played on. Uh... But there are there are others, I'm assuming. And I'm also imagine. just recently... I've also just recently gotten into um, World of Darkness, which is also a tabletop game. Something to that last. Oh, Ooh, I'm so cool. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> you listen, listen. All right. If you were me right now, you would understand. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's how comprehension kind of works. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, I've got a, a series of methods I hype myself up while playing Spelunky 2, because I'm bad at this game. <laughs> but it's very mindless, so I can just do it in the background of anything. Alright, so we make our way southeast towards the old well, Owl Well. Not really encountering much. A few small woodland critters in the distance. Girls. You're not my target today, but no. I'll come for you another time. Continuing on, we finally reach the old owl well. Now, hunting dead is something I'm not very familiar with. I never really had to deal with it back in uh, my lovely town of Squirrelstead. But uh, people seem afraid of them, so I'm 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 sure we can handle it, though. I mean, people were afraid of that wizard, and we we handled him like it was nobody nobody's business. Yeah, but the net are pretty nasty. Sure. You know what else is pretty nasty? What? Torture and killing people and things of that variety. And Yarno did all those things. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm sure we can handle it. We're not pussies. Yeah, and we get stronger. Exactly. All that loot. 
I mean, fucking Krell can huck a fireball now. Uh, you've got that staff, which I'm still not entirely sure of what it does. And I, I can stab things even better than I did before. Yeah, so. it's just kind of all you do, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Stab, slash, and thump. Sometimes I can yell at somebody so good, one of my friends, that they'll stab people for me. That is a very odd talent to have. I mean, you should you should try it sometime. I mean, I could. <laughs> I think she actually has a spell prep that could do that. She does. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, mine's a class feature and it wastes a resource that's just as valuable, so... <laughs> Mine's a second level spell, so... God damn it! <laughs> Difference is, mine lets the target have a save, yours doesn't. True. But then again, yours targets an ally, mine can target anybody. But I know what my allies are capable of more than my enemies, so I think... I think it's a... I think it's a... Yeah, as we approach the area known as Old Owl Owl L, we <laughs> stumble upon the ruined watchtower that makes up the main structure built thousands of years ago by a long-vanished empire that now consists of little more than a few crumbling walls and the broken stump of a tower. In the tower's courtyard stands an old well that delivers clean, fresh water. Old Owl Well lies in the wild and rugged hill south of the Tribor Trail. It's relatively easy to find, as stated by the fact that we got here with little to no trouble. True. It's a shame, isn't it? Uh, as we move into the area, you see the remnants of some prospecting tools, clearly left behind by the folks that we were warned about that were noted fleeing from here, from the undead, as we heard about. Mm. I wonder where are they, since we can see the undead yet. Uh, no well, way. they probably they probably went back to whatever town they came from. Uh, make me investigation checks, everybody. <laughs> We're so good at investigation. Yeah, we are. Twelve. <laughs> this one actually had a pretty low to hit, but <laughs> Grell and uh, brain not fucking working. <laughs> Just like how it struggled to say old owl well, not but like a fuck like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a moment this, or basically just pouring over the broken remnants and going through the various supplies left behind by the prospectors when Spoon notices a campfire that can't have gone out more than two or three hours ago. Ah, hey fellas, check it out. There were people here recently. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, this this fire had to have been. Uh, I don't know. A couple uh, the, hours old. The question is, friend or foe? I don't know. Let's let me take a look around. Is there anything actually left of their camp besides the uh, the campfire? Uh, moving through a bit of thicket, you happen to uh, spot a rather colorful tent directly below you. Hmm. It's the, well, uh, the big square. May as well. Oh. Well, may as well. May as well see what's going on here. <laughs> I'll just kind of like. Well, you said you said below me. Yeah. This. Uh square here. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> zoom out your map. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of 
like approach the tent and be like, Hey! Is that anyone here? Uh, as you begin to move south, make a perception check. Perception. That I'm good at. I've got a whole plus zero with my ten of this one. Let's go. Four. About to get, about to get fucking like brain blasted by some arrows. <laughs> uh, let's can make one too. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. should my map have changed it? Uh, yeah. See, it really helps if I actually bring you to the map, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It sh it sure would. That explains why you couldn't see anything. <laughs> All is well that ends well. Oh, I have sticky bombs. What am I doing? Dumbass. Let's go! What's with our rolls today? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? As soon as we get into combat, we're gonna start getting the good rolls. I swear, guys. I can, I can feel it. Krell's first dagger throw is gonna be a nat twenty. <laughs> I mean, that's impossible not to happen. True, yeah, it only rolls 19s and 20s. Pretty much, for some fucking reason. But, uh... <laughs> it's fucking it's we... magic, bro! Well, it is now. <laughs> the fucking, the, the dice gods are like, yeah, the blind goblin, she, she deserves it. Yeah, as we begin to move down, uh... Bliss and Krell pick up a... pretty abundant moaning noise coming from the direction of the crumbling tower. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, it would be better if we prepare our swords. Sure! I fucking pull my greatsword off my Please back. Don't do that. Please don't be on that. Please don't be on that. We literally came here to kill undead. No, I hate them. That's that's why. Incredible. What's the worst? What's the worst that could happen? I don't know, man. Incredible. That'll be fine. Crow will draw her pair of cutlasses off her back and hold them at the ready. And, uh, as we begin to investigate the source of the noise, give me one more perception check. Wow. I did something good. Uh, you say so good, I know what's gonna happen. Ah! <laughs> so, uh, just as we begin to move ever closer to the tower, uh, Krell and Liss are overwhelmed by a deathly odor, which is a mixture of just fermented sewage and rotting flesh. Ah, uh, that's disgusting. What is? What's Krell the problem? Krell immediately drops his swords and covers her that. nose. Having a more sensitive nose that is completely overwhelming her sense of smell. What are you guys freaking out about? Nothing's happening. I can't believe that you can smell that. No, that is, are, are you insulting me? Is that what it is? I'm not saying you are smelly. I, oh. Come on, you must sense it. Ah. Nah, I got no I got nothing, man. I think you guys are just not apt to the wild. That's what I think. Uh, you'll see soon. Yeah, these these undead things have to be around here somewhere, right? Probably. The noise is coming from here, right? Yeah, it's coming. From side of the tower denoted by the big circle. Okay, uh, the door is uh, here? 
Yeah, the general area. But uh, as you're debating whether or not uh, the smell actually exists, <laughs> two shambling corpses emerge from the tower. Oh, nice. Ugh! Ugh! Just... <laughs> Look at him! Fucking... That's... That's just gross. Now that is something to be grossed out by. But it also looks so easy to stab. Wow. Oh, you will see some. Oh, shit. Oh. You wrote a really good one. Uh, come on. Uh, fine. I'll do it again. Hey, I, got, I did better! <laughs> Let's go! I got a four. Alright, your, your streak of bad luck has ended. I've decreed it. Sponsored by Pepsi Mango. Pepsi with a splash of mango juice with other natural flavors. <laughs> totally not sponsored by whatever you just said. <laughs> not sponsored by Pepsi Mango. We just really endorsed the product. Sponsored by Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man. I fucking wish. <laughs> oh, dude. If I could get, dude, if I could get Pepsi Man to sponsor me, I'd fucking, I that my life would be over. That'd be, I'd be complete. <laughs> There's nothing more to do. That's it. I wonder, I wonder what Pepsi Man's up to these days. You know, he hasn't appeared in a commercial since like 1992. Probably drinking Pepsi. You know, that's a good ass point. You made a good ass point just now. <laughs> and right. playing the Pepsi Man game. Let's get back on topic here. Oh, yes, yeah, we got two shambling corpses in front of us. And... Two of us are overwhelmed with the reek so much that we're basically disarmed ourselves at this point. And Spoon's up first. <laughs> I'm so stupid that I that I couldn't even comprehend the smell. Yeah, you can't. Um, you literally couldn't comprehend the smell of death. <laughs> yeah, this guy. This guy doesn't. This guy doesn't stand a chance. A Thirteen. Uh, that will hit. Nice. Let's go. For 15 slashing. God damn. <laughs> well, the big boy rolls today. Uh, As you hack through its body almost effortlessly. Its body is decayed to such a point where its flesh is barely even hanging off its bones. Although it doesn't seem phased by your attack, it does seem to have taken a great deal of damage. See, these are the types of fights that are the most boring when you're fighting a creature that either doesn't feel pain or tries to act stoic through the whole performance. It's boring. It's an undead. What do you expect? I don't know. A, a growl? A fucking... Uh, to reel back something. But instead, it's just gonna sit here and stare at me until it's its turn to move. <laughs> now, Krell's, I can feel it. Krell's gonna do something cool. Krell's always doing something cool. Krell's always doing something cool. <laughs> Just gonna yank that shiv of the man the down that. <laughs> it's not a shiv, it's a dagger. She does have it's to wait not... She does have to waste her bonus action to pick her swords back up from the ground. True. But she's gonna move forward. And take a Good slash at this boy with a cutlass, which will hit. That's cool. For 13 point slashing damage. Make it go oh. a good deep wound across its torso. Getting some shit done on these these literal corpses. Now 
the zombie in front of Krill will lift up its arms and just go for an overhead slam attack, which will miss. Let's go! Hype. And Liss is up. Finally, the paladin. The man, the man who can actually do something about undead shit. I'm going to move between both and attack the one under me. Alright. Which is less hurts. Uh, an 18 will hit. So yeah, you draw out Alan? your brand new long sword that you've yet to oh. use. Right, the sword's name was Talon. Yeah. Talon. And you slash it across the torso of said zombie. Just shattering a great number of its ribs and exposing its inner workings. Nice! Oh, That's the I shit I'm talking it. about, Liz. But just as you think it's defeated, it comes back on the last remnants of its spine still frothing at the mouth and ready for a meal as uh, the zombie behind you goes to hit you and will miss even with advantage <laughs> if I use lay on hands on the undead would they die? <laughs> Um, you could try and find out. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to risk giving them health. I could just try to give one oh. hit point. True. Yeah. Oh, and we still do that, fucking. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Not quite. Um, is from Liss's left. He hears more shambling inside the tower and immediately finds himself surrounded <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> okay that was a bad idea to just charge in and now all three of these zombies are going to try to get those juicy paladin brains oh shit. all of them missing horribly Let's go! Surrounded by every side, still bobbing and weaving, knocking things out of the way with his shield. Yeah, this thing, this thing doesn't stand a chance. Alright, well, I got a 10. Uh, 10 will hit. Oh, fuck. Nice! Well, I these these guys into order. 11, then. Eleven points of damage for this boy in front of me. Can I just point out that all but one of the zombies that are currently in the situation go before less. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is such a fucking problem. <laughs> but on the bright side, you strike out once more with your great sword and. The zombie in front of you goes down. This is this is pathetic. Strike the numbers is boring. Um, as for I'm a bonus action, I don't really have anything I want to do. So yeah. I think Three more zomboids, huh? That's a that's a problem. Hopefully, only three. Hopefully, I mean, this tower is assumedly infested with them, but it's fine. What are they gonna do? Kill us? Turn us into one more pal? No. Oh, yeah, that is a thing they can do. Welcome okay. to the zombie recruiting system. And as. Spoon brings down the zombie with his mighty greatsword. You hear a voice boom out from behind you. What is the meaning of this? 
Huh? If you can see what's going on, asshole, then do something! Uh, from out of the tent appears a stout, red-robed figure with a sallow skin, a shaved scalp, and a black tattoo on his forehead. Oh, fuck! How did, how did you hear everything before this, but you're just now coming out to talk? My business is my own, Traveler. Now what business do you have here, where I'm clearly studying? Killing the mass horde of fucking zombies right outside your tent, mister! So that's how it is, then. You talking about? Stop your minions at once! Oh, is that what's going on? I don't think I will be calling them off. Oh, this is your fault then. Then today you shall feast with the gods. You fucking magic! You magic assholes! I. I, I guess I changed my mind. I still got... I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna run up on this guy. <laughs> can I even make it? Can I make it there? I don't know. 30 feet. Uh, yeah, you haven't used your movement at this turn. But you did make your regular attack already, so... Yeah, but I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can make it there. Uh, okay. Oh, that's just... 15 feet if you go straight diagonal. Is that right? Yeah. Then I mean, fuck yeah. I'll get into. I'll get to where I want to be. Then I'll just. Then I'll just have to take you out first. That way, it's less of a problem. So as you go to move away from the area of combat, you feel a pair of decaying hands grab you about the leg, and a set of teeth bite into your calf, as the uh -oh. zombie you thought you had slain had recovered, dealing four bludgeoning damage to you with wow. its biting attack. Four bludgeoning. And I, and I did, and that means I did move over there then. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have the sentinel feet, so you do move. Oh, nice. <laughs> it just bit my fucking ankle as I was running by <laughs> You just it. got a big bite taken out of your calf. Fucking asshole. Strangely enough, through whatever clothes you're wearing. Uh, look here. Got no, got no meaningful bonus actions, so, uh, that's, that's the conclusion of my, my turn. Alright, Krell now having her full set of actual movements. One of these days, I'm gonna hit something with repost. <laughs> Eventually. It has to happen eventually. But yeah, Krell takes her two swords up and raises them above her head and clangs them together, making a very high-pitched, echoing metallic noise as... Let's change that color up real quick. Let's, let's see some impressive shit happen. It's, it's roll it's 20, high. man. No, nope, that never, was my stupid. Never... I was hitting the wrong key. <laughs> oh, okay. 
We'll blame we'll blame roll twenty anyway. <laughs> Circles. Shapes and colors. Oh my god, <laughs> I thought that those circles. All these circles make a square. All these circles make a square. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh all no. These, all these squares make a circle. Yes, I know very well the line. No, I, I was just, I was saying that to myself. As Krell cast oh, the so dancing good. light cantrip. Let's go. For up to a minute, four torch lights appear within range, making them appear as torches, lanterns, and glowing orbs. In this case, they'll be glowing orbs that hover in air for the duration, where I could combine them all into a vaguely humanoid form of medium size. Whichever form I choose, the light sheds dim light in a 10 foot radius. As bonus action, I can move up to 60 feet. And a light must be within 20 feet of another light, or. Clear by that spell, or a light winks out if it exceeds the spell's range. So now, being able to see further into the tower, oh god, <laughs> fuck! Lis can now see all these additional zombies. I have a great idea to deal with all the zombies at the same time. I just need to get I the fuck out of here. I don't care how big the room is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, this zombie boy here is gonna attempt to swipe at Lewis. That's a nat 20! Oh, nice. For 9 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, come on! <laughs> now, this is... automatically rolls everything to DM. Yeah, that, that's been the case like the whole time we've been playing. Is that it? Does it just like does it just like do that on the sheets automatically? I think it might. That, that's what I think. My staff can only yeah, use shield rules. as a um, as a action, right? Uh, your shield? Yeah, you can take the block action. Oh yeah. And... I think the well, the spell shield is a is a reaction. Oh, though, right? the shell, the spell shield is a reaction. Yes. Is a reaction, so can I use it? Yeah, but unfortunately, shield doesn't stop a nat twenty. Okay, so <laughs> for this. Auto successes, baby. At least in combat. Mm -hmm. Oh, not a mage. Not a, not a fucking the wizard bitch. Necromancer, whatever the fuck. Necromancer, you're going to kick him one time, he's going to die. Exactly. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fucking impale him horrifically. Unless he manages to take me out first, and then that would that would be a problem. If he has something that could one-shot me, we are in hilarious amounts of danger. How curious that you would come directly to me. Yeah, I want you dead. We shall see how long that lasts. Make a wisdom saving throw. Ah, fuck. Oh, God. God, wisdom! <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. I've got like a whole plus zero. Alright. Dice of gods. I believe in it. I believe in you. A 16? Uh. Let me check if I see what his spell save is. Ah. <sighs> I'm not. I think. I think that. I think that'll do it. I don't know what I'm rolling against, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh. Your 
just because it's allowing me to find this settings. No longer an NPC. But 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 I'd be told it's a fucking Fuck it. what? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that high? Oh no! Is it absurdly <laughs> high? <laughs> yes, and I. Cannot for the life of me figure out why it is that high. Oh no! <laughs> Have I made a horrific mistake? <laughs> oh fuck, dude, come on! <laughs> but I literally can't figure out why the hell that saint is that high. <laughs> What's the save? 19? 26. 26?! 26. <laughs> Even if I rolled a nat 20, I would have been fucked! <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot figure out why the hell it's that high. He's only got a plus three modifier to intelligence. So well, what's the like meaning of rolling a save anyway? <laughs> if it's impossible! <laughs> I have less than one. Roll twenty man yeah. calculating it wrong. Give me a second. I feel scared. <laughs> I have plus on my wisdom saving throws. So the maximum I could is twenty three. <laughs> this is a th yeah. Th something must have gone wrong in the in the calculation. Yeah, That's the only explanation I have. That, that, or all of us just have terrible wisdom in comparison to this guy's sake. Okay. I don't know, maybe Krell could do it. Maybe she's got a high enough wisdom mod to do it. Well, I think even if you added my highest modifier, I wouldn't be able to save from that. I just wonder what the spell is. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's it's bound to be a problem. Maybe it's the same thing Krell did to me. Not even remotely. Krell. The thing Krell did to you was one of her uh, subclass abilities. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, I mean, it can't be strong I... if it is strong and has a twenty-six of. <laughs> Well, I, saved it. it's I really fucking... think that's raw. Bye, TN. <laughs> okay. Eight plus smokies. Eight plus special modifiers. Eight. Oh, save DC's 26. <laughs> All that shit I talked on magic, on magic men is really catching up with me, huh? Alright, so I have better news. Okay. It was, in fact, miscalculated. Alright. Oh, did, I, did I make the save? <laughs> Unfortunately, you still failed the save. Oh, God. His actual God. spell save DC is 18. <sighs> That's just demoralizing. It could be worse. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But considering that it's currently about to affect me, I feel like I'm in the worst possible scenario. <laughs> so, as you hear his words flow through your mind. Suddenly you begin to realize maybe this person isn't such a bad guy. Maybe you should be on his side. Oh, no! <laughs> you are oh, okay. under the effect of charm person. Yeah, we, we're, in, we're in trouble now. <laughs> For the next hour, 
you regard him as a friendly acquaintance. And... Uh... Now, now here's the time where I have to ask a very pressing question. Yeah. And it's that Spoon, as a, as a person, as we know, is a fighter by heart. He fights, like, everything. So can I argue that he would, do, he would fight non-lethally with acquaintances? Well, according to the description of a charm person, you cannot willingly harm the caster. Okay. Gotcha. It was worth a shot. Yeah, it's part of the charm condition. You can't hurt the person that charms you. Gotcha. But I can. <laughs> yeah, well. this definitely can if he wasn't surrounded by five zombies with the six more coming at him. Six <laughs> Jesus. You can see all the tokens. Yeah. Is, uh, this is... This is problematic. This is problematic. If, if I kill the necromancer, all of them die out, right? Wait, uh, Spoon can fight the zombies, right? I mean, he can't fight the necromancer, but he can still kill the zombies. Uh, assumedly. I don't know, I mean, he made them, so maybe not. Can't attack the Charmer, or charm the Charmer with harmful effects. The Charmer is an advantage, and I need police checks to interact socially with you. Um, yeah, it's just the, ne the Necromancer that you can't target. Zombies are still fair game, but his word, the necromancer's words will sway you more powerfully. So he can influence your decision making to attack those zombies. I've and that is his turn. A, a zombie will thrash out against Krill. That's a now one. Let's go. <laughs> Wonder what's gonna happen with a zombie that one. His hands fall off. <laughs> Possibly. If, if he drops his weapons, I mean, come on. <laughs> There's no other option. His jaw fell. fell. Yeah, that's that was that's what I was gonna say. All right. So just as this zombie goes to attack Krell, she, in her combat frenzied stage, just has her demented grin upon her face as she always does in battle. Cool. And the zombie, <laughs> in a unique moment of clarity completely fails its wisdom save. Let's go! <laughs> it is now considered terrified of Krell. <laughs> Let's go! And it gets to make that same check every turn. We have, we, we no longer have to deal with As one of them. That particular the zombie chooses to slowly shamble away. It will take opportunity attacks from both Krell and Liss. Nice. <laughs> this just basically went, oh, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> and it's probably not surviving Krell. Let's go! <laughs> it does get a chance. Uh, Liss gets to make an attack too. Oh, I can make that. Sorry. Uh, since it's champion shit going on here, man. Holy shit! Except for the guy who is a champion, he's not doing any champion shit right now. So yeah, it goes to 
escape and Krell catches it across the shoulder blades with her cutlass and it drops to the ground but immediately begins to try scrambling away again as Lissa's attack comes in on its back. Make, make another constitution save. And it will fail. Let's go! The zombie never makes it more than five feet away from either of us. He never, he never really stood a chance. Well, if both of us didn't have that opportunity attack on it, it would have gotten back up and kept running. But instead, it is now truly in the thralls of death as the zombie directly next to, to the right of Liss will make an attack against him. And missing by a wide margin. Go! It's going to be a good long while I mean, before I mean, Liss gets hit by anything that isn't hit. magic. We may have gotten gypped by a uh, by charm person, but that's fine. We have two other people who can run over there and try and kill him. I think we're a little bit occupied at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once we take care of the zombies, of course. I mean, we have a we have a person dedicated to killing zombies here, so should be fine. All right. So First, I do the necromancer. This zomboy here is gonna make his attack on this. Oh, I just barely missed this time. They're getting mm -hmm. smarter on you, Liz, as it comes around to your turn. I'm going to. I forgot the number. Okay. I'm going to go to the necromancer. Hey, piece of shit! Uh, Get on your just a moment. <laughs> and the tech. Somehow he completely avoids four opportunity attacks. What? <laughs> 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 now Krell can safely do whatever AoE damage spell she wants. And Thank your you. longsword attack will miss. The ah, what, what? Okay, 12 miss. That's not. That's not. Oh, wait. Uh, we gained inspiration. Oh, we didn't gain inspiration today. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say that you did. That is oh, I did? Oh, okay, so yeah, I didn't use totally this. Do. That completely slipped my mind. I was trying to get right into the thing from being not completely prepared. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Roll for it. <laughs> oh boy. Pitiful. It's gonna be one of those days, huh? As the nearly dead zomboy is gonna try to attack Krell. I can that's a nat 20. Well, that's not good. Yeah. For 8 points bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Bit of a bit of a bad place here. As we move well, into Spoon's turn, the mage huh. calls out, "Kill yeah, the you know human what? and the goblin. Do it now. They are your true enemies." Uh, do I get like a save against that? That's him talking. Oh, he's just saying that. I thought he was like telling me to do that. He's yelling at his zomboids. Yeah, you're stuck like this for an hour. You don't get a repeated save. Gotcha. So I. All right, cool. Well then. Uh. Huh. You know, this guy makes a good point. I'm gonna go back to killing these things. Gotta help my my pal Krell here. Krell currently isn't your friend. She's your enemy. <laughs> But I... Ah, hey, well, hey. Let's go. For 16. What's the AC of the zombies? 8. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's either 10 or lower than 10. Me 
you know, you bring your great sword down and it crumples the zombie to the ground from which there will be no coming back. Ah! Hey bro, these 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 flight these like these zombies, man, you gotta work on this. These are they aren't very good at the whole like not dying again thing. Well, use the scroll. You know what they say. Uh, you know what they say about blowing shit up with fireball. I t it doesn't matter how big the room is. <laughs> talking is a free, re free action, right? Can I do that? Yeah, talking is a free action. As yeah, long as you can do it within six seconds. No mid combat speeches. Wait, what, you telling me I can't do like an anime monologue in the middle of combat? <laughs> Fucking rigged. <laughs> Fucking circle. <laughs> These fucking circles, man. I just want to drag it down around to see what this room is could be. Yeah, that looks fun. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> There's so many! <laughs> I think I sing in heaven right now. Krell will once again clang her two swords together. And you hear a loud ringing noise, painfully intense, explode from the area within that circle. Each one of these zombies in said circle now gets to make a constitution save. Fucking five in the hell you come from. That's cool. So that is one, two, three, four, six. You know you're saying, Jaswells. <laughs> or they will be taking high. We want to see high numbers here. <laughs> It's definitely high numbers. This is second level <laughs> spell. Let's go! And they are undead, they're probably weak to fire. Let's go! 15, 18 thunder. Yep, they gotta beat a 13 constitution save, or they'll be taking 18 thunder damage. Is it halved if they succeed? God damn, most of them make the save. Only one of them failed it. Uh. That is, that is, they keep, they, how do they mass miss their opportunity attacks, but then they all manage to succeed a fucking con save? Plenty see <laughs> The con save is just 13. Yeah, but I don't imagine fucking zombies have very good con. Uh, they get plus three to con. What? I stand wildly corrected. <laughs> Well, shit. I mean, hey. There's still some damage going around, right? Actually, there's 18 damage because of Fury, Fury of the Small. Yeah. True. Oh. Still, if you add up all the damage she just did across that, it's still a pretty considerable it's, amount of damage. It's still pretty impressive. <laughs> Let's go, second level spell. That's what, 63 total damage? Let's go! <laughs> Out here doing the damage. It is a second level spell. We are. Right. We are kind of. We are kind of in trouble here. Right, we do have a. We do. We do have a smoking gun, though. 
This zombie is going to go ahead and attack Krell. Missing. Fuckers are staying out of my fucking attack range, bastards. Okay. No, I either fucked or. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. All right. Bless, you get to make me a wisdom save now. I'm sure, oh, yeah. his, wisdom, I'm sure his wisdom is better than mine. I have plus He's got a plus one. That's, that's better than uh, mine. Buddy fails. Well, uh, oh, God. This guy. This guy, I swear. <laughs> and Charm Burst, and for whatever ungodly reason, is not a concentration spell, but this one is. You immediately, as he begins to cast on you, feel your, bo your muscles begin to tighten up. You can barely even lift your arm, let alone swing a sword, as you feel near complete paralysis. You are under the effect of the hold person spell. Ah, shit. But unlike being charmed, you get to actually make a wisdom spell at the end of each of your turns. Oh, nice. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. Let's, you'll probably make your next one. I can feel it in my bones. The glory of strong bones. How much do I need to take this time 18 again? You don't take damage from it. Uh, no, uh, when I go going to do my saves. Yeah, it says it right there at the bottom of the description. That only appeared on my screen again. <laughs> I will figure out this problem eventually. Eventually, <laughs> we'll have everything perfectly set for this, this game. And then... Eventually. And then we'll probably be in the end game. <laughs> last session for last five minutes. That will be more legendary than finishing this campaign. <laughs> you know, with the music. Yeah, this is um, gonna move forward. forward and try to attack Krell. That's a ten. That'll miss. Wow. And this zombie uh, sham going over a corpse. Will roll an at 20 against Krell. Again! Uh, okay, first thing, it came into my attack range, so I'm gonna use a uh, brace on it. Um, and one of my right. superiority done. Make a great sword attack. That's but a now one. Fuck that, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Whoops, rolled the wrong thing. A 10, which will in fact hit it. Or 7, which I can actually reroll both of those uh, since they're both 1s, <laughs> thanks to uh, great weapon fighting. Yep. So, uh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Much. <laughs> reroll. <The> Joel <laughs> kept it. Joe <laughs> said on his video that a fighter rolls so many dice and didn't believe it until now. <laughs> and what's worse, he didn't even need to use the Great Weapon Master because the 7 would have put it down. Is that right? But it does get its con save, which it fails. Ah, I see they make con saves to stay alive when yep. come back. I see. They're like half works, but they get to do it every time they die. Do half orcs have to make a save? Uh, yeah. It's also a constitution. Yeah, or, no, wait, they just get to use it once per rest. Yeah, alright. Whereas zombies just get to do it every time, but the DC What's depends the... on how much the killing damage was. Gotcha. That's, that's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, wait till you see a zombie ogre. Yeah. So that zombie's out of combat. This is up. I gotta assume that, like... Being completely paralyzed, all you can do is attempt to make your wisdom save at the end of your turn. And that fails. 
I gotta, I gotta assume that like holy damage or what it, radiant damage prevents that, right? You are free to assume that, yes. Yeah. I will assume that. Until I'm told otherwise. You, hey. human, come and assist me. I am in peril. Shouts the necromancer to Spoon. Uh, so I have to go over there? Or do I get like a, a save? Look at how this works again. Did my connection go up? I still hear. <laughs> no, I'm just not talking. Okay. Oh, right okay. Here. I I was. Do I? Do I just have to go uh, over there now? Make an insight check. An insight check. Nine. Yeah, you are compelled to act as he says. What? What I do you want? I love his name, Evil Mage. <laughs> no Evil. idea. Let's go. <laughs> what? Why? What? What is it? What do you need? This human here is assaulting me. Deal with the problem. Is he? It looks like he's just standing there. Don't what the fuck are you doing? Kill the mage. Uh, Your regard uh, is an enemy, and he is also a magic user. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Checks out to me. I'm gonna do this cla in the classic way. I'm gonna... So, Get I have him to... Get in the schnoz, I, I assume? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna fucking punch him. I don't wanna... I don't wanna swing my fucking greatsword at him. A 10 does not hit him. No, it does not. Not my even fucking... remotely. Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what are you wearing?! I let him my <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, this sucks. I'm gonna... I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got no bonus action. <laughs> I have... <laughs> this, this is terrible. <laughs> This is sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh... I'm done. I got nothing else. I used my movement, my action. Oh, wait. You, wait, alright, hold on. Could I... I guess I should have asked this before I clicked the button. But, could I have uh, foregone that attack to use Commander Strike instead? And tell Krell to attack something. Uh, due to the description of Charm Person, Krell is your enemy currently. Gotcha. So okay. the only person you could use that ability on would be the mage. Or one of the many zombies, if you choose to regard them as an ally as well. One of your companions to strike. Maybe you choose a, choose a friendly creature who can see her. Well, they're not really friendly. But they are technically my companions at the moment. But will they attack each other if I tell them to? That is the question. Because <laughs> there's no save for that. I guess we'll find out next time I'm up. Uh, I'm gonna burn a spell slot to hit two things. I can, Let's go. I can hit two things with my swords. Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta roll that. that you gotta roll. And both of those will hit. Somehow the offhand I mean, hits much more easily. Shit. For ten slashing. 
And they'll both be on the way directly in front of her. First we'll drop it into critical territory. And the second we'll drop it to zero where it gets to make it save. Come on! <laughs> okay, That's after the, if, if the Necromancer leaves all this, I'm going to make so much torture to him. <laughs> I wanted the pet. If, we, if, pet. We, if we like, make it out of this like good and well, or fucking try the lottery today. <laughs> this is this is this is like a fucking really bad situation we're caught up in here. The zombie directly in front of Krill is going to attempt to hit her. The 13th thankfully will not. <laughs> and it is now back to the Necromancer's turn. Oh my god. Bloody wanker. Hit me, I dare you. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. It's not like repost ignores magic. <laughs> It's gonna Ed. reach out and grab Liss by his Liss. armor. And it's gonna cast Shocking Grasp on you. Oh, God. Lightning sprays from his hands, deliver a shock to a creature you try to touch, make a melee spell attack against the target, which you have advantage of if the target is wearing armor made of metal. Watch him roll shitty though. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's got advantage. That's a 20. Wow. <laughs> That'll that hit. <laughs> now, can, well, he has... Can he use uh, shield even though he's, like, stunned at the moment or whatever? Uh, he doesn't get a reaction being paralyzed. Okay. No reaction. Wait. Oh, reaction. Uh, yeah. shield. Only three lightning damage, though. <laughs> Liz has taken like all of the damage in this encounter. <laughs> I'm going to just look at the. So you got punk. Punk. Let's go. Punk. And you also you so don't get to take a reaction until the start of the mages next turn. Oh. I also forgot to add this all of these this extra zombies terrible. into initiative. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> this is. There is so much shit for us to deal with right now. And every single one of them is going to go for me. So when Except get back for to one. Spoof, they'll all. I'll reorder it so everyone's taking in proper order. It's Krell's about to potentially get pip smacked by a zombie, which will miss. And Liss gets to repeat his wisdom save. Come on! Go! And fails Jeez. once more, remaining paralyzed. Jesus fucking, this is terrible! Uh. This is, this is awful! <laughs> and it's Spoon's turn once more, and he is still compelled to attack Liss. Now, so, so can I, can I command a zombie to attack another? You could. I mean, yeah. Because they're both considered your allies and your enemies. Yeah, true. So I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, kinda, instead of, like, swinging my punch, I'm gonna, like, whip my arm around and point at, uh, this zombie right here and say, Hey! It would be really cool and dramatic if you hit, uh, whatever his name is, the guy right in front of you! Not the goblin, though! That'd be dumb! Well, actually, it'd be funny, too! But I'm telling you to hit the other zombie! Alright, so he's compelled to make an attack, which will hit. <laughs> Dealing four let's, points blasting damage. Let's go! I didn't have to hurt my hand again. <laughs> I gotta tell you, mage, buddy, you know, punching this guy really hurt my hand, so I think I'm just gonna, uh, I have to fucking, oh yeah, he can add, um, a d8 to the damage, by the way. 
Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have the superiority dice to it. Two more damage. Yeah, let me tell you, punching this guy really hurt. So I think I'm just gonna make uh, your our zombie buddies fight for my entertainment. Is that alright? Yeah, it's alright. You're not saying anything. He's just gonna leer at you menacingly. Like, are you re like, are you mental? <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> this is what oh, happens when you put magical command <laughs> over a person with an IQ lower than the number of squirrels he's killed. Exactly! <laughs> this, this guy's gotta be like, what the fuck? What did I do? I, my plan was perfect! <laughs> Little did he know, he's fighting the actual stupidest man alive. <laughs> Two more cutlass swipes. Uh, the first one being on the one that came back last turn, so he gets another con save. Succeeds it, so second swipe will also be against him. That's a nat one as this zombie finally collapses into his unnatural grave. And that was the zombie that goes next, so D for that. But another zombie. zombie soon makes its way out to take its place. <sighs> this is some goofy shit going on here. I hit that twice. But a 17 will hit Krell. Mm. For five bludgeoning damage. I could use some help over here. Are you Fucking! I don't know. Stop. See what you didn't account for, little scutterer, is that your friend here is in fact uh, frozen by the will of my good pal. Uh, uh, what's your name again? Cost. Hamun Cost. Yeah, Hamun Cost. Yeah, great guy. Really good at the whole like magic thing. Which I personally think is kind of fucking stupid. And he'll take a few steps to the side. <laughs> and since Liz cannot use a reaction to make an attack against him. And neither can he I. He doesn't take an opportunity attack. Uh, this is, this sucks. And uh, he's going to fire some magic missiles straight into Liz's face. Oh no! Due to the nature of magic missile, they automatically hit. Oh fuck! Oh, no, so God. he fires three force balls. I believe it is. I, I believe it is also three. Yeah. And each dart deals damage, so I gotta roll that three times. Wait, this is this is awful. As Liz oh. takes a whopping twelve points of damage. So I'm with minus four. Ah. <laughs> well, on the bright side, Spoon no longer has to attack less. On the brighter oh, side, yeah. I already have another <laughs> character pre-made, so <laughs> if anything happens... Hey, we're not gonna let you die immediately. I don't think he yeah. can reach Krell. Not Krell either. We're gonna put zombies. Man, I'm glad the, the intel we got from that elf was inconclusive as fuck. Oh, this zombie gets to make an attack on Krell. Missing. Bye. 
hell out of me. <laughs> it's hard to figure out where the alive tokens are. And Liz gets to make a death saving throw. Oh. Ah, nice. He'll be fine. Here comes the nat 20. I can feel it. Uh, nine is a failure. Failure. Uh-oh. Maybe I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's, that's only one fail. Boy, Krell is fucking, like, surrounded. Or she can be very quickly. <laughs> Spoon's turn again. I've got... You've got an unconscious list laying at your feet. A goblin you believe to be your enemy. And, uh... A little over a half dozen zombies. <clears throat> well. What am I gonna do? Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do pretty all right damage, so I think, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna command, uh, I don't know, I guess this guy is gonna run over here and attack that guy with Commander Strike, so right. Krell can make an opportunity attack on him. Uh, this guy here? No, 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 uh, this one. It didn't pick on my screen. Uh, this one right here. Uh, he is a leaving Krells. Oh. Space. Shit, yeah, he's entering. I yeah. keep forgetting that's not the case. Still gets to make that attack, though. Which will hit. Go. For and it gets legend. to add a D8. Six. Oh. Let's get in that con save. That's a failure. He stays down. <laughs> <laughs> you officially made a zombie kill another zombie. Twice. I think. Did it happen with the other one? Or did he no, succeed that save? He succeeded. Oh, okay. Krell's down to, up. down to one superiority dice. Krell's down to nine HP, okay? That's so, true. fearing uh, she might get easily overwhelmed in this situation, I need my doodle tool again. <laughs> Let's see some cool shit happen. She is going to sound off her thunder wave once more. Yeah, another second level spell. Let's go. Oh, well, it's a first level spell, but she is amping it up to second level. Hmm, okay. Alright, so they all get a constitution saving throw. And on a fail, they will be taking all of that damage. Hell yeah. Oh. And on a successful save, they take half that damage. God, let me, let me, gotta do some quick. That's 25 damage total yeah. right there. I think. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, so. Jap singing to the bathroom real quick. Alright. Okay. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 they, to get they, save. They don't have a lot of HP from what we've learned, so. I think One of them even... fails. <laughs> What? I think even if they take half, that's what twelve damage. They might, yeah. they might, they're all still pretty like bad. We get a round of even more con saves.
enjoy your 12 damage, fuckos, and one of you gets to enjoy a nice 25. Okay, so three further con saves. Is it only one of which yep. is successful? Yep. Fully... Nice. I know. This one. There's a lot of dead guys. <laughs> At least Krell can breathe a sigh of relief oh. that she isn't completely surrounded by zombies anymore. And yeah, like... she still has a movement, so she could get the hell out of there. <laughs> before I can go again. Do some cool shit, that's what you can do. So yeah, since I'm unimpeded... Oh no, I still would tame her when, uh... You know what, I will take one attack of opportunity. To get over here. Zombie, do your worst. Yeah, let's go. And Krill will. Ah, oh, no, I can't. Shit, they're both level ones. Damn, I can't do the thing I wanted to do. Have to wait till next turn. <laughs> Evil mage. Should I be making my next character? <laughs> one failed so far <laughs> you can you can do it i can i can feel the <laughs> we can feel the dice gods forgiving us for the sins we've committed the evil oh, mage please. will move up to krell and attempt to give her a whack with his quarterstaff which will hit holy shit for three bludgeoning yeah we are we are in some serious shit right now <laughs> If we all die, what do we do? <laughs> like we start paying over. Nah, well, we won't all die. It'll be fine. We can, we can figure something out. Let's get this dead zombie out of my way. Mm. Oh shit! There's no new button. <laughs> Thank God for the undo button. Thank God for the undo button. All these zombies are just going to use their turns for this round <laughs> to move. And they all just got pulled out of turn order for some dumb reason. No. Whisk gets to make death saving throw. And... <laughs> That's a nat one. Oh and no! Two death saving throws. Oh no! Liz what the is fuck? dead. Liz is gone. What the <laughs> fuck? Rip Liz. This. This fuck. That fucking sucks. Oh my god. <sighs> This is on fucking real, dude. Oh, you'll probably have the opportunity to. This is all two spells. <laughs> no, the. Uh, it is Spoon's turn. He doesn't have a command initiated in his brain at the moment. <laughs> okay, so now I have to make a new character. Yeah, I mean. Grab your new sheet real quick. Wow. <laughs> F <laughs> F and chat please <laughs> That fucking sucks dude 
<laughs> it's like the it's second true. time that's happened to you. <laughs> uh, you died once too. Well, I mean, I mean the way you died though. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah you got that ones on both your times you died. <laughs> this is on. This is unfucking precedented, dude. We got spoons up, four zombies behind him. Very <clears> dead <throat> list at his feet. A Krell he believes to be an enemy, and the evil mage who he cannot attack. Can, <laughs> Can I command a zombie to attack him? Because it's not me attacking him. Technically speaking, rules is written, yes. Uh, <laughs> I fucking turn around, and I look at this guy, and I say, Hey, hey you know what would be funny? If you went over, and you just smacked a cost over there, it'd be great. It'll lumber over and make its attack. I'm <laughs> sucks! But cost will turn in its direction, wave its hand, wave his hand. And the zombie crumples to dust. It's magic undone. Hey, I kind of helped a little bit. Um, that's my last superiority dice. I'm gonna fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna use my my action surge. And think you're making it. either a mage or a sorcerer. I'm gonna use my action surge. And try and you. I remember we ha we this happened when we were fighting the red brands. I hit two people by swinging at a wide arc. Can I do that again? Uh, like basically, just, how you did like, that is you made attack on one enemy, uh -huh. and you did way more damage than needed to kill them. Okay, gotcha. So then you got to make a second attack on another enemy. All right. Um, yeah. Then I'll just make a fucking. I'll hit uh, this boy right here with my great sword. All right. I and mean, at twenty hits. <laughs> Uh, 20 for 22 damage. And, uh, yeah, you basically slash this zombie with every bit of strength you have. Just all the rage of watching your former friend die, like that feeling in the back of your mind that you know that just isn't right. Uh, so bring all your might against this zombie. Taking it out. Ah! And it raises, Fuck you, guy that did nothing to me! And the zombie raises its severed arm for just a moment and collapses, completely ah! unable to regenerate itself. Yeah, Crits are you. also insta-kills against zombies. Let's see. With my bonus action, I'm out of fucking... I'm out of superiority dice. So instead, what I'll do... Is I gonna? I think I'm going to go uh at all on a King Skywalker and become a necromancer. <laughs> I'm gonna run over here and be like, "Hey, what's going on? Wasn't it funny when I sent this guy to hit you? I thought it was funny." I think that zombie gets to make an opportunity attack on me. Uh, Do your worst. Yeah. I've got a lot of health to work with. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> What's going on over here? Yeah, you know, that that fucking guy died back there. It was actually really sad. I feel like I should be more sad about it. Uh, right. But yeah, Hammond, wasn't it funny when I sent that guy to come over here and hit you? Hysterical. I yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh. Man, I'm funny. Alright, now it's Krell's turn. And she's gonna plant both her cutlasses into the ground and draw out her dagger. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here comes jump. some impressive shit. She's gonna jump right up on the... Basically just jump up and just grab hold of him. And just go for a good solid backstab. Which will hit. Let's go. Let's 
got plus six. Nice. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she just gonna stab the living hell out of this Holy man. Holy fucking god! <laughs> Holy shit! So, yeah, she draws her knife and just stabs him a good one right between the collarbone and the muscle of the shoulder. She's driving it in. And Spoon gets to watch on as half a dozen purple spectral daggers appear in the air floating around him and also impale him. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That was so fucking cool! This is the other ability she gets from the College of Whispers. Psychic Blades. Oh my god! It was fucking sick! She hey, gets the ability to make her weapons attack magically toxic to a creature's mind. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one use of Bardic Inspiration to deal an extra 2d6 psychic damage to that target. Hammond, did you fucking see that? She just stabbed you with a bunch of psychics went like fucking daggers! That was so cool! And you wanna know the really funny part? If I could make the you show. Visible to uh, everyone. Ju just uh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm going to make a chaotic evil necromancer. So you can see that health bar. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> she just fucking one shot this ass! He had exactly 22 health. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck this guy. <laughs> And, uh, Fuck him. the target of your Charmed is now dead, so you are no longer Charmed. Huh? What? Oh my god! What the fuck happened? Magic bullshittery. Turn around and fight. Uh, yeah, you, you got it, boss! Because <laughs> I gotta add these back into initiative. Oh my god, that worked out way better than I expected it to. I got max damage on Psychic Blades, by the way. Oh my fucking... Yeah, that is... That is good. Huh. Right. Okay. Fight time. So yeah, they're gonna... Hold up. They're both using their... It's, that's all they can do. Oh. Which we've headed over here by... Man, am I am I safe? <sighs> I'm out of I'm out of superiority dice. I'm pretty sure one more one more attack would have killed Corral if she had taken damage. <laughs> A point blank magic missile would have ended her. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen will hit a zombie. Twelve. Oh, another perfect kill. Let's see if the zombie <laughs> can pass its save. That's a big no. Only one zombie remains. Fucking undead bastards. Krell's up. Let's throw the magic dagger this time. Let's throw the magic dagger! Yeah! That's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh, the psychic blades wasn't supposed to be added to that. But it still Our dagger takes has a one hundred percent accuracy rate. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh man. Unfortunately, not enough to kill the zombie just yet. Have you oh, missed wait. with that thing ever? You know what? Fuck's sake, I will use the psychic blades off that since I already rolled it. <laughs> oh my god. You burn the other Martic inspiration. Oh wow, I rolled all low stats. So that's an additional 13, which will drop it below zero, and since it was a crit, it remains dead. <sighs> Fuck. Zombies. Good Ugh. God! She just collapses on the ground in a cloud of dust. And this combat is officially over. Boy. 
this bullshit I can take. Uh, DM, can I roll again? I think they are <laughs> out too low. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I'll let you give it another roll. Yeah, it's certainly Thank not, not very I'm good. I'm in a good mood after not immediately okay, dying. Better. That is not much better. <laughs> no, it's definitely not, not much better. better. But at least uh, a little bit. Yeah, that six is going to be a huge deficit somewhere, but at least the two 14s are kind of up there. Yep. I mean, you were already kind of a bad drinker. May as well make con your dump stat. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not all Khan is meant to represent, but, you know. My Khan doesn't is... If he's making a wizard, he's screwed. Mm. He would lose True. health every time he rolled for a level up. Listen, it's going to be a halfling chaotic evil necromancer who wishes to become a leech so that he doesn't have to work anymore. <laughs> Alright. So, so he's like, he's like, he's basically just like a lazy corporate executive. Exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that's chaotic evil. I would say that's like... The, 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 he, he can't be good by re reanimating corpses to right. do his job for him. Yeah, I would say that's more like a like a neutral evil kind of thing. You just want him to... You want corpses to do shit, but you're not trying to, like, take over the world or permanently freeze yeah. time or uh, something. I evil not more as, like, I like to do evil things, but more like a, I will do this shit no matter what, you know. Sure. Uh, oh yeah, choose a background. This fucking... This sucks. Fucking... Ew, amazing shit. Back. So we well, select these circles. Man. May as well see if he has anything useful in his tent. Oh yeah, you should right. probably take my gold. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good idea. And your magic items. <laughs> True. I may as well may as well fucking don the talon. Yeah, and the one time it was used it did pretty damn well. <laughs> it did yeah. <laughs> First things first, though. The tent. I think I'm going to make my background myself. Ooh. Uh, I'll check that over at some point in time. So, walking into his tent, you find it to be a comfortable traveling suite, including a cot, a chair, a writing desk, supplies, and a chest of clothes. Rummaging through said chest, you find a leather bag with... Get ready to add money. <laughs> 35 silver pieces. 20 gold pieces. And five platinum pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Damned I'll be. And that's just the coinage. <laughs> you also find Ooh. one pearl worth a hundred gold pieces. Okay. A potion of healing. Uh-huh. Kinda sucks that our person holding all our potions of healing got charmed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it sure does. A scroll of darkness contained in a bone tube. And a tiny jeweled box containing 25 gold pieces, which contains a peculiar looking ring with a shield insignia on it. Okay, hold on just a second. Potion of healing. And pearl with a hundred gold pieces. 
<clears throat> 25 more gold pieces. Well, it's a tiny jewel box worth 25 gold oh, pieces. Oh, okay. Jeweled. The scroll of darkness in a bone tube. Scroll of darkness. And the ring with a shield insignia. That looks uh, peculiar cool. to you. Oh, cool ring. I, I put it on. Okay. Oh boy. Let's go. I'm gonna have to make uh pinch. Uh nothing immediately happens. Huh. Cool. Might as well add peculiar ring. And both krill and I was loaded. Both Krell and Spoon gain 500 XP for exterminating these zombies and the necromancer that brought them back. 500, huh? Yeah. 2,050. Because it was a thousand spread evenly. Oh, I'm going to take forever choosing my spells. <laughs> well, you got to. Um, sorry. You were a great guy. A you you hear the booming voice from the heavens. Thank you. <laughs> but a bad drinker. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> to roll my B3 for that. <sighs> Alright. <I> will. <laughs> this is soul didn't I'll... need go to heaven. Oh god, well, where would it would have gone? <laughs> What's the D3 for? <laughs> you can either end up in heaven, hell, or purgatory. Oh god! <laughs> so I went to heaven. Yeah, he ended up in heaven. <laughs> oh, okay. Or at least wherever the equivalent of heaven in his religion is. Well, I will take up the talent dead, my friend. Girl's gonna go ahead and cast healing word on herself. <laughs> cool. There's so many cantrips. Yeah, Sorry, but I don't lot. think I will make this session. I want to. I want to choose wisely. like put that into a separate sack and hand it off to to Krill or tie it to Maurice when we get back there. But yes, I will take the the lovely staff and uh, Talon. This was this was just awful. Let me think of how fucking dare he take over my mind. Oh yeah, since I am level 3, I probably have access to that spell, you know. Fireball? 
that spell. Oh no, no, it's not. It's no, at that's, fifth level. That's, you Forget it. Spell slots. Yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> what what has driven you to want a familiar so much? Familiars uh, are really useful. It's a really I, guess, I guess they are. I, I don't know. Um, I'll, have to t I'll take your word for it. I'm going to... Uh, what were I watching before that? I don't know. I don't know, it just came to my mind. Oh, it's familiar. Fair enough, I can't... I can't... I can't knock you for that. Alright. Also calculated your goal for you. Uh, my... Let's see. Know the effect of the staff. Add that. Yeah. We got two plus one long swords. Okay. Uh, one handed yeah. and two handed yeah. attacks. Oh, That's okay. It's a versatile weapon. Gotcha. Makes sense. Oh, do, do I get 6 spells at level 1 because of my spell book? Uh, no, it's because wizard. <laughs> what Wiz was it? Wizards, Wizards are really fucking strong. But well, the, there's, only, there's only 2 spells. part again. <laughs> Krell is definitely the clutch cannon of this campaign. <laughs> True. Undeniable king of clutch. As soon as you pull out the dagger, it gets an insta kill on the mini boss. Next turn, throws it for an act 20 kill on the last zombie. After getting her ass literally handed to her the whole rest of the fight, fighting up to like, what, 6, 7 on 1 against zombies? Yeah. But, uh, it's a very natural place to end the session.